when is vancomycin the answer on USMLE? There are four super high yield use cases you need to know and I'm going to give you the exact vignettes so you never miss these questions on the USMLE. First use case I want you to memorize is MRSA skin and soft tissue infections. They'll give you a patient with cellulitis, abscess or wound infection that's not responding to beta lactams like nafisillin and you get a culture back showing gram positive cocaine clusters that are methicillin resistant and the treatment here is there is IV vancomycin. Now some students will say what about oral antibiotics? For serious MRSA infections you need IV vancomycin but for mild uncomplicated infections, you can actually use oral TMP SMX or doxycycline. Second use case is Clostridium difficile colitis. But here's the key. You use oral vancomycin here, not IV. And this is where students get confused. They will give you a patient on antibiotics who will develop watery diarrhea. You do a stool PCR for C difficile toxin and it's positive. And the treatment is oral vancomycin or oral fidoxamycin. Now some students see vancomycin and automatically think IV. But here's why that's wrong. IV vancomycin doesn't reach the colon because it doesn't get secreted into the GI tract. So for C difficile, you need oral vancomycin. So it stays in the intestinal lumen where the bacteria actually are and that's very very high yield. Third use case is the empiric coverage of bacterial meningitis. They'll give you a patient with fever, headache, mucal rigidity and before you even get lumbar puncture results back, you're going to give them vancomycin plus ceftriaxone. Well why vancomycin? Because you need to cover drug resistant strep pneumonia and ceftriaxone alone might not cut it. So you add vancomycin to make sure you're covering resistant strains until you get culture sensitivities back. Fourth use case is MRSA pneumonia or endocarditis. So hospital acquired pneumonia with gram positive cocaine clusters or IV drug user with tricuspid valve regurgitation and positive blood cultures for MRSA. The treatment here is IV vancomycin and for endocarditis specifically you often add gentamicin or rimfampin for synergy. But vancomycin is your backbone antibiotic for MRSA bloodstream infections.